Hey guys, welcome to our final review of The Witcher Season 3, Part 2. We're here by contractual obligation. There's no, no contract. There's contract with you guys because we told you we would. As you can see, the uh, enthusiasm has left me. Uh, we actually just rewatched our Season 1 and Season 2 review where I dressed up. Had the sword, had the hair, even had a costume. I don't care anymore. Um, Neither does Netflix, so why should you? I don't even, yeah. Well, that's just how I feel about the series in general. Is just I don't care anymore. Um, it's unfortunate, too. Um, and it's it's not just the fact that Henry Cavill is leaving. It's, ju it, it's a combination of things. Uh, that obviously hurts it a lot, in, in my opinion. Uh, but we have the last three episodes, uh, so we watch these, so you don't have to if you don't want to, uh, and we'll give you our opinions, uh, but it is, um, yeah, the situation is sad, because when I think back of how excited I was, man, when that series was first announced, and then they started announcing the cast, so hopeful. Even the showrunner was listening to stuff back then, changing the armor for the better in season two and things like that. I felt we were on a good path. And, you know, it just um, has devolved over time. And Alex said that the viewership dropped. Yeah. Like something. It's like 60%. Like the, the, like the, 60 the first episode did pretty well, but the drop off from, from episode one to two, it, it just continues to go down as. I can see that. Yeah. Continues yeah. to go down, and I'm sure it will continue to go down from here. Um, now, we got, uh, it was a two-year wait in between season one and two, and then it was a two-and-a-half-year wait between season two and three, and that was because a little bit of the pandemic. Uh, well, production has not yet started on season four. Uh, they just announced 49 minutes ago it's delayed. Uh, there's a strike going on, so... Uh, they're not able to start filming. They say they don't know if it's due to the strike. It's due to the strike. Okay. Get some scabs in there. They couldn't do any worse than the paid writers you got. <laughs> yeah, and my my main complaint, <clears throat> and I wrote this down around episode eight. Oh, no, my throat's getting scratchy. Hopefully, what the hell? <clears throat> Is that the... It's... There is so much melodrama <clears throat> in this. It is, uh, you know, and it's entirely subjective from one person to the next. What is melodramatic? What works? What is over the top for one person uh, it works uh, and they connect with it for the next person. But for me, what's going on here is not working for me. There are literally just too many characters that I don't care enough about whether that's a series uh, constantly cutting between, you know, a thousand storylines and not developing one particular one um, or just the individual writing in the individual scenes. I'm having trouble pinpointing it. I think it's because it's a combination of it all. And uh, I found myself bored, completely bored during certain episodes. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have finished the series if it wasn't something that we had already started. So yeah. I'm kind of feeling what Alex was feeling. He was getting hints of that, you know, a, a, a lot er earlier and sooner. Um, and this one, this one mainly, there's, there's three main things. You've got the coup uh, on the Brotherhood, this bloody coup uh, going on. You've got... Uh, Siri and, and a whole desert uh, plot line and them splitting up yet again, just getting fucking annoying. And uh, and then basically, I guess what could be the third one? I had I had a third one in my head. Uh, now I've lost it. The recuperation. I yeah. don't really care. The unnecessary recuperation in the forest that meant yeah. nothing. Uh, the the Gar basically a Geralt fight. Well, one last hurrah uh, of of uh, Henry Cavill as Geralt doing some cool sword play. And uh, taking on sort of the the villain. Um, so let what uh, before we dive into what we think uh, or, or go into detail further. What did you think, uh, Alex? I don't think that this is very good. I haven't thought it's very good in a while. Um, there there's some things that are just so hollow, and it, it goes all the way back to season two where there's just massive character assassinations, and then there's a specific scene. And I think it's the the first one that we watched. They all kind of bled together where 
Yen hugs Siri and is like, I love you, my daughter. And I was like, bitch. You try to kill her, right? You try to <laughs> sell her to, like, for, it's like, it means absolutely nothing. And so because these characters have been <laughs> murdered for no reason other it's than the, the, the writers at Netflix just wanted to do things the way that they wanted to do things, it's like, it doesn't make any, it doesn't matter to me. There's nothing emotional about that scene and that should. Yep. And so they keep teasing this, like, well, like, are they going to be a family unit? Are they going to get ripped apart? And it's like, they keep putting them together. They and doing it. And they keep doing it this so often. It's just like nothing in this these three episodes, or in this real this season, this season so far, has been compelling. I don't think the political intrigue is is interesting. There are supposed to be cool things that I like. I love the idea of having uh, elves fighting mages, mages it's supposed to be mages fighting mages, and all these other things. And they just the person in charge of directing these scenes is not talented enough to make it come together. And there are cool spells that they're using, and that's what I want to see. The problem is there's no effect to them, right? So we have all these really cool things. You know, there's chain lightning, unlimited. The she goes, unlimited power, and unlimited not a single fucking person died. died. See, no one died. That, that comes to the right. I actually think that the action choreographer and the way that it's filmed is solid. You, man, you, you would laugh if you've seen the Polish... Witcher TV series, uh, the way the CGI <laughs> dragon looks, the way the, the action is, it's really bad. Now, it, it's unfair to compare uh, a multi million dollar production like Netflix to a lower yeah. budget, you know, Polish, uh, mm -hmm. you know, production that was trying to do it. But I do think some of the battles are filmed well. But what, what Alex is picking up on is we'll, we'll, we're, we're it was like, pointless. we'll it was talk to each other. We're like, what the f why that was pointless or why did they write it in that way where her Uber shouldn't it, there's a battle going on. And half the time people just leave the battle randomly to cry or to, you know, look needed at the blood Gatorade. on their hands. Well, they needed to <laughs> they just they're fucking talk. And it's like this is the battle for your entire fucking home. And you're just treating it like 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 it's nothing. Time and out, then pump up. and then, you know, they do an Uber spell and you're like, OK, so the Uber spell it's like, like oh, these are she's the most powerful fucking sorcerer's mage in this fucking universe. And uh, at least currently. And you would expect to see a body count. You would expect to see some big power. And the impact is completely blunted because they don't spend time to show that portion same thing with fucking elf hitler fire mage Stregobor. guy Stregobor, who just yeah. shows Didn't up do who anything. by the way you know has been a part of the series since i fucking season one he's been around you know and and he has this this scene that's supposed to be great where he's like you know y'all i'll give i'll buy you some time because i'm i'm i fucking hate these pieces of shit anyway because i'm racist and then he does his fire magic and you, you see, like, I don't know, fucking three seconds from a, a overtop view where he does flames, and it appears as if he kills himself, yeah. and, and, and it's ridiculously stupid. And then the very next scene, the elves come out of it, and every single elf is fine that we've seen previously. We There needs to be only two or three elves coming out of there instead of, you know, the whole crew that was staring at him, uh, you know, and then the uber spell that motherfucking... Uh, the the Tissia Tissia does, and then you use the same bubble shield spell that you've been using all battle long. Uh, it blocks it. The only it thing it did it. was just change your hair color. It's and then yeah, she <laughs> gets a little bit of emperor <laughs> blowback on her hair. Uh, now they did stay faithful to the books on her her ending. They kind of changed it a little bit, gave her more of a. And this change might work a tiny bit better towards what happens in her eventual. Can I say it? Yeah. I mean, we're here part two. Suicide, right? Uh, where they gave her a love interest with the villain. What's his name? Vilgafor. Vilgafish. Yeah. Um, and so they did that. That wasn't, I don't think that was in the books. But, uh, but still, it just makes me so frustrated, you know, when a lot of these people were just, you know, popping in, popping out. And then Tris, Tris is not a character. Tris Marigold is just like a prop. She just shows up to solve a fucking plot problem and then just disappears. It's 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 sad what they've done to Tris. 
Um, and and it, a lot of the time that could be spent on characters that we do care about and character and performances that we do care about and they're working are completely cut short. They're given seven minutes in an episode in order for us to focus on all these other characters. And the problem is, is the show should not be called The Witcher. The show should be called The Continent. Why The Continent? Well, you may not know that, the, you know, I was like, well, what's the name of the, the world of The Witcher? What, what, where are they? What's the name of the land, Joe? The continent. It's the continent. <laughs> they, they didn't bother to name the continent in this universe. So it's called the continent, filled with dragons and magic and all this stuff. So it should be called the continent, and that actually describes it way better. And I get it. I get it that, you know, Geralt and the crew are a small part of it. But, um, and there are a lot of interesting stories to be told. But you could do you could do spinoffs. You could do multiple tried seasons. That. You could do yeah, they did. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. But uh, we just need to be focusing longer and harder and adding more depth to the scenes that work versus more. Uh, you know, trying to incorporate the entire continent's motivations, character names, ambitions. Everybody's motivations <laughs> change from one. Uh, I'm gonna fucking betray you. <laughs> I'm wearing my badge of betrayal, and you yeah. suck and. Oh, shit, now I'm not going to betray you anymore. I took off the badge. Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Okay, now, and then, oh, my God, we've completely destroyed our home. Let's band together now and fight. for the, just Shut up. Just go away. Just everybody just go away. Yeah. And I don't know. It's depressing. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. What do you think? It. What I do you think, it. Joe? I fucking hated it. Uh, it was boring. Pacing was uh, all over the place. Uh, the motivations like you said, just dropped in a in a whim. It's like, yeah, we're friends now. It's like, no, you just had me in handcuffs. You betrayed me. Now, now we're now friends. we're friends. Like in the next scene, I get it. In the books, it happens. Oh, loyalties change and everything, but it's not developed here. Enough. It is not. It just goes on too quick. You don't care about these characters. The emotions left. Like, there's no emotion left in this uh, the series. It's just dumb. I hate everything about it, and. I'm I'm glad I don't have to watch this anymore. <laughs> yeah, so if there was a two and a half year uh, delay in between uh, seasons uh, two and three uh, with the strike, we actually have no idea how long the strike is going. The fucking asshole uh, executives are saying like, uh, um, we want to see them hurt and, and get kicked out of their house. Yeah, because they got something. plenty of fucking money. They got money. plenty of money to burn through. So this could last a while, more than months. It, c- it could last a year. Who knows? Uh and so we're probably not going to see – so if as if it wasn't already hard enough, you know, losing all these viewers, that by the time season four comes out, it, uh, nobody's going to give a shit. It's going to yeah. be three years or so, four, who knows. So – and we don't give a shit right now. I saw you nodding off during the desert stuff. That shit was and fucking And I boring. was nodding off. I was nodding There's off. There's no point to that. It, here, let me, let me say this. What, what blows me away is that the locations are beautiful. Mm-hmm. And then the the music is beautiful. Of course, they're picking up from what was in the games and and the style. That stuff is working, but no, hi. It, it, the, the the substance is not quite there. So while it's maybe visually interesting to look at, um, you're just not invested in the no, character not at all. Siri and 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 mysterious thing one and 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 the preachy thing two and and gobbledygook where I'm just I'm not involved. No, yeah. that was fucking boring. Mm-hmm. Like I hated every part of it. I was like, this was a terrible scene. There's one that was good, right? Did you like the monster? It was just there. Cool. It was the, just it was the just the sand monster. Cool. I didn't stupid. like the sand monster at all. I, I honestly the just thought was this a cool idea. It was just oh, there. I, be like, hey, wake up! And then yeah, we got to continue. It did this. wake That's up. That's all. It's like, we, okay, we, it's we like, were like, oh, what is this? It's like it's gonna be a fucking oh, oh, you mean the goo sand monster? I did like the goo sand monster. So like the goo sand monster was fine because it showed up for a second. The the sand monster she fought, I thought was actively bad. Oh, this yeah, no, I'm talking about the creative idea of oh, she sees fucking water. And oh, she yeah. goes over there and she grabs it and is like, oh, what the fuck is this? That gives me that old Witcher, you know, monster investigation That would have been cool if it was in like an episode like that yeah, or something. Yeah. But, but it wasn't. It was, it was like a, si- it was yeah. a side thing. They, for a minute there, they realized, oh, so there's creative things. There's monsters. But no, these monsters go. in this world are so side, 
they might as well not even be there. That's no. like a whole different yeah. show that we wish yeah. we were getting. Yeah, instead we got like the whole Scrooge's thing. It's like, oh, this could be your future or your past and all this <laughs> stuff. is like, oh, they're going Scrooge. Yeah, yeah well, cool. uh, her con- her consciousness was yelling at her the whole time, and then the evil side of her was being spoken. We'll, we'll do an episode breakdown, but yeah, we're just talking in, in general here. In general, it sucked. Yeah. I hated it. So, you know, uh, it started at all right for me. You know, season the first three. Episode. First oh, episode. First was episode was all right. Yeah. yeah, and then it progressively was getting worse yes. and worse. Our ratings, if you don't remember, was like like uh, lost about two points every every episode. So we got to episode, what was it, five? Yes. Yeah. Five was the last one, then going into six. And <clears throat> so we were like, man, this is going to take a lot to it ended bring on this a sour up. note. Too, it ended on a hugely sour note. Good point. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. You hear that song man. that played for 35 fucking straight minutes. And, everything is and repeating it everything over yeah. and over. So yeah. I was already fucking annoyed and a little upset. So I was like, all right, you got to stick the landing. Now, granted, episode six, it is the biggest, like, action-packed episode. There's a lot of crazy spell action, a lot of CGI, a lot of stuff. But it's undercut by a lot of the stuff that we already described to you. So it might have been, you know, it certainly wasn't as bad as the the thing that came before at episode five. Um, But, yeah, episode seven and eight, nope, nope. And I just thought it was hilarious. Um, it's just, they don't know how to end these. No. The last line in the uh, the series is, call me fucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. She did, it's what it sounded like. <laughs> it to us. Sounded. Did she just say, call me fucker? Um, I think her name is Fal- Falker. Falker. F-A-L-K. I like e- it when Gerald grabbed that nifka. Call me fucker. That guard, though. He's like... You tell him I'm coming, but this face is not. It's going to be a different, different face. <laughs> so you won't recognize me. Yeah, tell him I'm coming <laughs> to the uh, Amazon Warhammer show near you. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> you, oh, No one's going to watch it. It's going to be bad. If, I guess they do continue. Yeah. Out. I don't know if they are, right? Yeah, they're continuing it, Joe. They're already doing two other seasons. You know what's fucked up? I'll even tell you all this. There's a new spinoff coming. You're going to love this. Guess what the new spinoff is? Is it the is? witches? The rats. It's the fucking rats. That literally one of the most annoying parts in episode eight where I'm, I, I, I went from checked out to I, I actively hate this. Uh, is this part where these rats come? Now they're they're in the war, they're in the books and everything, and and uh, and Siri joins the, these this crew, yeah. this gang called the Rats for a while, and that's she changes her name to Falker, Falker, and uh, and I, when they, the way they introduce her, like, oh, so badass little camera angle, Remember super Boba X, Fett everybody, where the guy like spins around and does a shot. Everybody is fucking Geralt, and I'm like, this is. This is, I see why Geralt left. This is fucking stupid. I hate it. And uh, they're going to get a spinoff so- show. I think Dolph Lundgren has been cast as, as something. Maybe their mentor. Is he Von Drago? <laughs> like he actually yes. would just be playing. He oh, went man. through a portal and he doesn't know he's there. So, anyways. That's going to be terrible. That's uh, kind of our it. opinions uh, so far on it. Um, should, uh, let's, let's go final verdicts on, on the season itself. Okay. Season three overall. And then we'll do the rest of the ratings. Okay. Uh, I am going to give season three a three. I, I don't think that this is average television. I, I think that the, there was potential here at the, the very beginning. There was things in season one that they were getting right, and there were some things that they were kind of failing on. In season two, they really doubled down on them not sticking to the lore, and they wanted to do their own thing, and it just wasn't as interesting. There are times where people get to do their own thing. Peter Jackson's famous for it. He People were pissed at him when he did Lord of the Rings a little bit different, but you know what? He did a good job with it, and now people look back on it very fondly. Yeah. They're not going to do that here, because this is yeah. it is working against the established lore. It is working against the video games, and it's just... There's, it's just character assassination after character assassination. King King Radavad, Radavad, completely different. I mean, there are some that do stick to the books, like you know. There's the, some, but like, like the I think that the, the 
Geralt v- Vilgefort's fight is like straight out of the story, and it worked. It, it turns out that that's a really cool part. Oh, the lightning wow. storm, the lightning tor- storm from the sky, is kind of a cool thing, except for the whole shields where everyone is fine. Yeah. So I just don't think that the coup was also in in the book. Yeah, but it's wizard on wizard uh, yeah. almost entirely. It's to be, yeah, yeah it, it has nothing to do with just random assholes who apparently are more powerful than mages because they have special arrows. So it's just like it's them mishandling what was already there and written. And I don't know how many examples that people need for or against sticking to the lore. Last of Us, 30 fucking Emmy nominations. Universally <laughs> love making tons of money, yeah. and it's just because they're sticking close to the lore. And then you have things that like Netflix likes to do with Cowboy Bebop, I'm sure One Piece, and this, where they're just keeping... They're, they're, getting away from it one of the reasons i want people to not watch this season is because this show if it as if for my mind is the the thing where writers say no you know what fuck the lore fuck the fans i'm gonna do my own thing and i'm gonna take that name and it's my thing now and that is a really dangerous thing and i think you have to send a sign to the people who make these things that we want more things that are sticking to the lore the things that we like and not doing this whole thing where I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna rewrite Yen the way that I want, and I'm gonna cast someone who I, you know, she's yeah. not conventionally attractive to to fight the the system. It's like you yeah. know, fuck off, yeah, fuck off. G- get out of here. So I don't think that this is a good series. I don't think that the action. There's like three things of action that I thought were good, yeah. and they lasted. Yeah. There's like Henry's final fight scene yes, that was uh, when he beats the shit out of Dijkstra. Mm-hmm. Mwah, amazing. <laughs> yeah. I don't think any of the magic shit was interesting. I, no. I look, I, gr- I I give you po- like credit for trying to trying. do it, for trying, yeah. but you fucking failed. And when up. you try the big jump or you try the big thing and you land on your fucking face, you get a zero. I'm gonna laugh. So you, I'm giving you a zero for the magic fight. That's what I wanted to see. So it's like honestly, I don't think that the political the uh, environment of the show like where they're trying to like all the machinations back and forth is interesting i don't think most of the fights are interesting you've separated uh siri Geralt, and yen the witcher is a tertiary character in his own show so what am i supposed to give you points for the cliffs look excellent emphasized ideas because you know what the writers are doing you know what the director of the show and they're patting the themselves the on the back while jerking like off. the reason alex the reason why playing devil's advocate for for the writers is because it's like how could you make tris i'm sorry tris yennefer betray siri in that way oh it's because she needed to learn the lesson and now she loves her even that much more because she knows that she fucked up and this and that but to me when you get when you assassinate a character when you have a character do something that's unforgivable and it's like nah fuck you um you knock me out of it yeah you knock me out about it in star trek when that one lady what's her name the fucking board queen uh, yeah. kills the, her fucking boyfriend and then everybody on the ship's like yeah that's cool no problem do we take you to jail nah don't worry about it you know and then we're supposed to like her and she's supposed to be like the best character on the show it's like shut up get out of the fucking room here i don't like you go away yeah redemp- the, the whole thing is it's it's actually really well established for you know <clears throat> thousands of years of literature it's called the redemption arc when you have something where you d- majorly fuck up you redeem yourself and you earn your way back into yeah. that point and they didn't do it yeah they, well, i'm gonna, I'm gonna that's say- what they're saying they did do is that i've redeemed myself because we filmed a few scenes where a we were scenes. eating soup and we were laughing and we were throwing and baguettes sex, at each other it, yeah we're, so we're good yeah we're that's good now that, that's a problem that i have with this i don't think it's television that you should hate watch and i think if you if you like you know your lore your books your whatever and so netflix is making i mean they're, they've got so many things coming down the line where they're taking books and video games and other things and they're just going to shit all over them and they're yeah. going to continue to it so I don't think you should watch it. Go. I agree. This is a three. This is trash. You should not watch this anymore. It's so fucking dumb. They bit off more than they could, they could chew. They were trying to be a fucking Game of Thrones, but yes. they're not. They're not that talented. Right. They need to focus on one thing. They're like, oh, this character, this character. You, you don't get enough time to uh, like really like focus on any characters. Right. So you don't know who the fuck is like, oh, this is a new guy. Now you're just shoving this person down my throat. I don't know who the fuck this person is. Yeah, so this person's character. Cared, and now they got the rats. And then we got that um, bow and arrow lady. He's like, yeah, please. I, I don't please. care. And then I don't Geralt care. gets saved by this bow and arrow lady. And then he's like, Danny Lyons, like, you should follow Geralt around. I'm like, please don't. Yeah, and now they're all friends now. And then it's just. Just terrible. At the same time, it's like the main people you fucked over. Like Geralt's already the third wheel. Uh, Yennefer's, I don't know, not really fucking doing anything now. Trish is not. That's not Trish. 
Yeah, well, that's what they call her. But yeah. They just butchered all these yeah. characters. Mm-hmm. A lot of it is, you know, some of the book here. So you have to, you know, understand that they're trying to follow the book, even though they're not trying they're to follow not, the book in a few. But the, the major plot beats bleeds they are. Uh, it's just not not effective. Again, um, like uh, yeah, like they should have like focused three. a little bit more on that instead of trying to do like they're just trying to condense everything, and it's not working for them. They're they're not that talented uh, in writing yep. this. Like the plot is just like all over the place, and like I think the first episode we watched, we had like kind of fill in our own like uh, holders. Like how did this guy get out? It's like what's going on now? It's like you just have to. Kind of fill in the fill, gaps. Fill in the stuff happening off the screen. I agree. I'm going to also go with a three out of ten for season three. It's a fucking shame. It, 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 it's, you know, there are moments where it rises above a three. Don't get me wrong. But overall, like, I hate that this has happened. I hate that this has happened. I hate that I'm here. I'm not dressed up for it. I'm not excited. No. I hate that Geralt uh, is no longer played by Henry, and we have to replace the fucking lead character. I hate that the offer w- was like, man, this guy's perfect. And then and then the, the guy's like, hey, let's stick to the lore. Let's do some of this stuff. The fans are really enjoying this kind of stuff. And then... And they're like, nah, we're fuck you. We're going to do something else and uh, just shut up and, and, and please do your scenes. And, you know, you got seven minutes of screen time. You know, a lot of this stuff piling up to turn it into what it is now. And uh, there's a reason why your viewership has tumbled uh, quite a bit over over the seasons. And it's not what you assume it is. It's it's exactly what everybody's trying to tell you. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, three out of ten overall. We'll go into the individual episodes now and kind of discuss them. So, uh, episode six is called what, Joe? Is it the Mike Tyson one? Yeah. So it's they like can't, even, they can't even make their own fucking titles for the. Fucking everyone series. has a plan until you get punched Point in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the crazy action pack day. Like, but that's such a stupid title for the fucking, you know. Mage Rebellion, the the fucking coup with of the Brotherhood. Everyone has a plan until you get punched in the. That's such a, I don't know, reductive. It's just okay. So the spell that it is revealed. Um, all these things are revealed. The spell, the fucking mages are fighting each other. Um, and it's revealed that prisoner. there's oh yeah. shit, there's a fog coming in. We've. We've been infiltrated. You guys are traitors. Uh, we've caught the traitors. Don't worry. But here comes the fog. And I'm expecting. And then they're like, oh, my God, a fleet could come in under that. I'm like, OK. Oh, shit. We're going to have a fucking army show up. And all the mages are going to have to do their thing. And No, it's like 20, 30 guys. <laughs> it's like, man, it's OK. To be fair, I think they, I think they said 50. They said 50. They said 50 yeah. elves. Still, With that's hilarious. Chips. Oh, you're going to tell me you're going to assault the fucking center of power on the continent, the mages, with 50 soldiers? Really? All right, cool. Um, so then, ob- and then obviously, there's a, there's some mage powers within the elves, but whatever. And then there's obviously the, the mages that... I did, it, it, this just could have been so much cooler, and I'm thinking about how cool it could have been. And the power levels are stupidly, wildly out of control and, and, and inconsistent is what I mean. Uh, you know, you, you one, one second we're using a bubble to, to stop a fucking mega spell. And the next second the bubble doesn't work against a fucking arrow because uh, somebody sneezed on it. I don't know. Um, well, there's also almost everyone is dead in one scene, and yeah. then a ma- and then a mage like goes out of from cover, and she gets hit by like forty five fucking arrows. That's hilarious. Just sticking out of her chest. It's like what is happening? Like it's cartoon like, level they were, shit. They were yeah. like, "Fuck that lady yeah. in particular." All the other mages, no, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Well, and then the fuck that lady, that extra. She she was given a shit during the fucking writer strike. I don't know. Oh, well, then then the casting director has two idiot nephews that are like, let's play the same mage and we'll have a sword and we'll fight uh, holding and, the same sword. And it's like, what? And the- not only that, so stupid. I was like, I would have been like, Joe, let go! I'm, I'm fighting it's for my so life. So dumb. So these two mages can put a sword together, and I don't know. They fight worse. Uh, <laughs> trip each other in the show they try to make it look cool i i, I get, I get it. 
I want to say I want to give you something for your effort, but it's one of those where it's like it's sad, and I have to give you ba the back grade. But I see what you were trying to go for, yeah. trying to do something new, but it's embarrassing. It was terrible. So um, I like certain parts of the battle stuff, right? And 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 only if I cared more for the characters. Um, and then there are parts where it just made me angry. Um, constantly walking away from a mid-battle while your friends are dying and talking about stupid shit or, uh, you know, <clears throat> I don't know. The most powerful mage is like, uh, she comes in the room and she's like, I'm just going to, you know. She gets mad. She like gets mad and you're like, kills. all right. No. She does one epic spell, kills the uh, elf's brother. Um, husband. Husband, rather, sorry. And uh, he explodes in a shower of blood. I'm like, let's go. Now we're going to see, like, it was going to get wild. Yeah. yeah, but so the problem but is. then it doesn't get wild. I thought that was incredibly <laughs> stupid because he's jumping in front of his wife, who is one of the most powerful mages in the entire continent, and she could just go bubble. Right. Oh, that's so. Yeah, the, if you think about it. If there, you think about it, you're not <laughs> supposed to think. But about the problem anything. is, like, so the second but he jumped like, in front, but I was that's like, what would happen if the mages start fighting elves, though. And so that's why I liked it because it's like that is what would happen. Yeah, but she would just go bubble. At least what one of the elves would go bubble. Yeah. Yeah. Her. Yeah, because she, she, the bubble was getting thrown at her. But I guess what they're trying to say is that, oh, my God. That her uh, husband was an idiot? Her husband noticed this spell sooner than, than yes. his wife, who was trained and it's supposed has to magic, be an emotional moment. And she didn't, he, he just didn't want her to get hit with it. So he exploded. So he wanted to turn himself into salsa? Yeah, he's like, an idiot. <laughs> like, <laughs> And she then, needed just uh, some rage. Yeah. Then, that, she was so mad because he was so stupid. She's like, you idiot. I have magic shields. You don't need to protect yeah. me. I'm a strong, independent elf queen, and I ain't need no man. <laughs> and then her friend with the staff dude, uh, you know, helps her out. And, you're doing, and then he gets killed by his, his niece. niece. She's like, there you go. And, you know. Take that, uncle. Take yeah. that. And, and then, then even she the gets so sad. Oh, no. And. And everybody's dying around her. It's like, uh, excuse me, <laughs> can we get some help? <laughs> Even characters in the fight are like, what the fuck is Fringilla doing here? How are you, like, you are not part of the envoy that was sent by Amir. Why are you here? And they're, I don't know what the answer is. Why the fuck was she there other than to... It's her plan. It's her plan because she plans. wanted to make it all right because she killed She's the queen. She's in queen's... league with the spy master. Yeah, she killed the queen's baby and feels bad, so she wants to help her. Uh, no, know. she escaped from the prison. She was drinking at a bar, do... and then she she's just hanging out with that one guy. The, the armor could hear the gar the gar uh, the general. disgraced general. Yeah, and so that's why she's there. Uh, and plus, she's a mage. They need more mages on the other side because they fucked up. I think they just they need more. Like, oh, shit. Wait, 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 there's supposed to be more mages. There's and it's like, more, shit, we'll just throw, we'll just, write her into the yeah. scene because we forgot it's supposed to be a mage fight. Uh, yeah, I fell flat. Yeah. Uh, Kahir had a really sweet scene where he's just like, oh, Siri, I love you. I'm so sorry. And I want you to stab me in the neck because... <laughs> I don't. I don't understand why this character just like went from like I'm gonna capture you to like I need you to kill me type you thing. You made me think, or he says something like you made me question things. something. And and I know that he's probably sp it's supposed to be he's I disillusioned get a with in my underwear when I see you. Yeah. Well, it's because she that what well, I forgot what that other mage. She's like you need to think for yourself. He's like. You're right. <laughs> and then he went to go do that. Well, the whole fucking and then his thing king like an Ant-Man 3. <laughs> yeah, the Don't king made him. Uh, okay. Yeah, Don't yeah. Got it. Oh, that's what it is. I'm yeah. not a dick. So fucking stupid. Yeah. And then yes. he's like, go, I'll buy you some time. And then the horse. The horse is going. <laughs> <around. laughs> <laughs> <We're laughs> they wanted their, they wanted their John ahead. Snow scene where he's just like, I'm going to cut you. It's like, dude, we're on horses. We're just going to go around you, you fucking idiot. go around me. Wait a minute. We're supposed to fight. Come back. Wait, you're jumping out. So back to episode six. So you got the yeah, battle it's stuff. It's still six. It's still six. Oh, that's, that's the end yeah. of six. You're right. Uh, the elf hating uh, fire dude kills Struggle himself bar. for no fucking reason. He maybe kills one extra, one or two extras. <laughs> Because in the next scene, we see they're all fine. Stregobor, the most self-loving guy who's a master of illusion. He's not even a fire mage. And so he's just like, he kills himself to kill an extra, and he doesn't even kill the elf queen. 
Stregobor would not kill himself. Oh, so and he's not. not he's not that powerful, is what you're saying? Uh, no, he's okay, powerful well, in, in a different case, in a different way. In that case, then I guess he, all of his fire was an illusion. <laughs> oh, it's an illusion we, of fire. We, yeah. So they're just uh, they're saying y'all are stupid. Because he's not powerful. So yeah, he did. I guess he didn't kill he's like, anybody. Well, fine. No, it's uh, just an illusion. Yeah, so he's like, oh, no, let's get he out did, of here. He did buy them time. Yeah. So okay, that makes sense. But you maybe okay. convey that to the audience a little. little Again, you have to fill in because I gap. honestly, I honestly well, thought I mean, that he, he did. I don't know. He I, worked while he was off screen to get some amount of power to f- contribute, but apparently it was all illusion. Uh, so and they all survived. And no one dies. No one dies. Uh, that guy had a heart attack. It's so funny That's because right. we we see le- you know we're supposed to see less and less of the skull. Uh, uh, what is the name? Skull to uh, the elves. The squirrels. The squirrels. Uh, we're supposed to see we see less and less, but every time I see them on screen, then after a hard battle, it's like, oh man, we barely made it out of there. We're, we're so few, and it's like. You guys are actually growing in number. Yeah. From it's, it's like the Doth it's, it's like the Doth Rock, the Doth Rock. It's like where did you people come from? I thought you all died. Anyways, so Siri. Um, so then ev- we get the one good. S- we, well, we get a good. S- I like the lightning. So sh- and then she walks upstairs because she's so distraught. Not only has she been betrayed, uh, but her love says, "Ha ha, you're stupid. I fake loved you, and I manipulated and she you." She doesn't even attack him. I was so yeah, mad when he yeah. turns his back to her and he's like, "I didn't even love you. You're my pawn." And I, I wanted her to at least uh, like that is up. not a, a real woman. Yeah, uh, I just want to say that uh, that she, does not happen. She would have like I wanted her to throw a lightning bolt at him, and go like, "No, I'm too powerful," and then yeah. then zip out of there. <laughs> but she didn't do anything. She's just like. Meh. Yeah, and 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 not this character, uh, especially. But I, I guess that's in her nature. She's like, ah, fuck it, I still love you. I'm gonna whatever. do sad lightning bolts that killed nobody. That was sad, man. You know, they 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 to make it look. Oh, it's the last resort spell. So I'm like, oh shit, you're gonna blow up the whole fucking place. Yeah, his last resort. It's like, no, it's an emperor spell. And I'm like, oh cool, that's even better. You can direct the lightning and you can kick some ass. And then it's just. She and they make it. it. They go, ah, she goes, ah, and it's all flashed. And I was like, hey, man, this looks cool. And then when they cut to where uh, it's like maybe a couple, after, a couple of extras. Yeah, she it. kills a couple, like and a few extras. And then the, the main bubble. girls are just doing the bubble. And it's like, what the fuck? This, that's your power? Who told who told everybody you were the most powerful then? Yeah. Okay. Well, then the Francesca brings down the ring of fire, and, and everyone is just like, oh, my God, she just watched her husband die, and she's lost her brother, and she's lost her baby. She's going to do this epic fire spell and kill it. And everyone's just like, I bubble. So mm-hmm. yeah, all you got to do is, is, like, is bubble. So it's, what's, what's interesting to me, on paper, all this could have looked really cool. It's like fire ring falls yeah. on everybody, motherfucking last resort spell. On paper, this is badass. Um, they just made it look like an in, like a super inconvenience. Like if they would have made like the bubble like going in the bubble like she's trying but she's still getting kind of hurt or something. But they just made it be like, oh, let's bubble, it's fine. Or every or make, make, fill make, the fill the room with people who are yeah. dying in like Why? the main. Yeah. Did they not have enough budget to have I don't know two times the number of fighters in the scene? Then it would be more impactful. Yeah. yeah. All right. So moving on, or let's give an individual rating for that episode. This one is simp. Oh wait, uh, hold on. You forgot. So, uh, I forgot. Uh, so then we have Geralt and 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 a series and and Jennifer. They come back together. They see this the shit going down at the fucking academy, and they're like, Yeah, no, fuck it. I'm I'm not gonna help. Geralt's like, No, I'm not gonna. And and yeah, Jennifer's like, sense. I have to, you know. And then she, he's, he's <coughs> like, and. He's like, well, we're not getting involved, and you don't have, you don't have to abandon me. She says. So I was like, oh, okay. So Siri and Geralt are gonna go with her. Yeah, and they kill the fire guy. There. Don't forget. Um, oh yeah, that's right. So uh, they have to wrap up these loose ends. This guy has no master now, and then it, oh, okay, he's dead. I'm amazing. I was getting really annoyed. You know, she's carrying around the sword, and Geralt's not in the scene. I'm like, are we just doing? And she's just gonna start wielding the sword because I wouldn't put it past these riders. And she's got the sword. She's gonna start fucking. She's Geralt now. And I was like, please don't do that. And she doesn't do it. She throws the sword, and Geralt grabs it and cuts the guy. I'm like, yes, finally, Brother for share. He's back in the scene. Oh, okay. The life is back in. Okay. And then we immediately cut away, t- and Yennefer has to go, and Geralt doesn't, for some reason, go with her. Because apparently he doesn't care about uh, Yennefer. And he doesn't want to help her in this battle. Well, it's a Scooby-Doo thing. It's just like, oh, guys, it's super dangerous. It's all split up for no reason because otherwise the story can't happen. And it's like it just happens so fucking often in the show. It's 
I'm done with it. Is this yeah. the author's issue and not the showrunner's issue? Is this happening in the books or is it just like, it's, ugh. All right. Well, there's some weakness in, in, in the writing there. Um, so then we go in our separate ways. Siri does stay with Geralt, and Geralt's been training her on how to fight monsters and stuff and, and, and be her own person. But I guess Geralt does detect this is not a monster. This is the main bad boy. So you, you need to go. He says, go. Um he just says go. She takes if you're off. Not, no, he tells her the the quote. Uh, you will not be lost if you. Yeah, if the little coin bound, thing. Whatever. Right. Yeah, the coin yeah. thing that she can use. Uh, and then he has a fight with the um, evil mage, badass Vilgefortz, and he really uh, just outclasses Geralt and kicks his ass. And really crushes his. He, he wants Geralt to join him, so they have a little bit of a speech here. Geralt's clearly not interested. He respects Geralt's power, but he knows that he is a level above Geralt, and he be beats his ass. But it's a good fight scene, cool. Um, he's using a, a staff that will disappear and reappear in, in any way he wants. He even reflects some of the Witcher signs, and uh, I'm sure that didn't feel good. Geralt's like, shit, man, that's what that shit feels like. Oh, man. <laughs> and he gets hit with his own sign. So he is really out of it and gets defeated. And uh, Geralt feels personally responsible for uh, not being able to protect Siri because he lost that battle. And But Siri does the stupid thing. Instead of, I don't know, hanging around and then helping Geralt afterwards, she just walks off in a random direction and goes to the, the talking, the tower, the talking the rock. rocks. Yeah, goes to the rock and is like, uh, she could kind of understand what's going on. Then uh, Build a Fort comes in. Yeah, he's like, hey, this Build is too, <laughs> this is too powerful. Don't mess with this shit. And she messes with me. it. Join me, I will and, train you. And then explosion. She gets teleported somewhere else, and then he gets blown back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then we see Geralt in the sea after. He, right. Uh, somehow Geralt goes from uh, you know, in, on the beach to. In deep water. <laughs> I was like, what happened? The tide Joe, came did in. I, did I miss a <laughs> scene? Joe was like, tide came in. <laughs> okay, fine, Joe. The tide took him out to sea. But then in the very next scene, he's back in <laughs> on the beach in, in shallow water. What happened? Did the tide bring him back? <laughs> it's a fast tide. Yeah. And then he floats there for a while. And Jeff, whoop. And uh, they pull him out of the water, and so Tris uh, pulls him out of the water because that's all she does. This whole thing she is just show up at people. Show hey, up at weird I'm here, time. Hey, you <laughs> I'm, I'm actually Tris Marigold. Like, no, you're not. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Drag him out of the water. Yeah, and uh, yeah, she's used purely as a, a plot device. She shows up all the time in this fucking to yeah. solve problems, and she leaves. She so got then shot. She takes, she takes it. Oh yeah, during the battle. But we would learn. We learn later that uh, these wizards, these sorceresses, can just go Ugh, and you're healed, and then everything is fine. So not, like, if, all, you, not if you have a heart attack. Though. Yeah, it's so all, all, all of the other all the other people dying of like superficial <laughs> wounds or just like normal like stuff. It's like doesn't mean anything. It's like yeah, and you could have healed all of these people, no. and she just decided <laughs> not to. I don't not want. that, not that yeah. guy. He's already old. Yeah. So and then like we, <laughs> we are in our lowest point yet. We have no idea. Siri gets teleported to a desert. She's separated from the group. Uh, Yennefer, uh, you know, has her, you know, sees her master do last resort or mother figure do last resort. She's trying to help, and this betrayal is huge. And, um, yeah, and Geralt is defeated and really fucked up. I thought they were going to mash on his face a little bit so that they'll bring in Liam. He's like, oh, man, he got uglier <laughs> or something. <laughs> he had to have surgery, and one of the mages, like, fixed his face. Wrong. <laughs> so I guess that could have been the end, <laughs> but that's not. That's not what happens. No, he's, he's still taking handsome and some he looks perfectly yeah. fine afterwards when he heals up. So that's the. So let's go rating on this one. I think this one is better than epi the last episode, episode uh, five. No, it's episode five. No, nah, oh. And then this is so episode said six. No, he's I'm he's giving my rating. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Fucking four. Yeah. Like I like some of the cool fights. Like the mage scenes could have been better, mm -hmm. but overall still below average. It's like me. Yeah. Below average, okay. Yeah. yeah, I think this is the 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 best of a bad batch. Um, but I mean, ultimately, it's a giant pile of unrealized potential because yeah. I thought all of the fights could have been amazing. And other than the really short scene, and I mean, it's it's like ten seconds long of Deekstra getting his like arm broken and then his leg broken, and girls like, "There better be a surgeon with you. I'm gonna smash your femur." Like that's some cool shit. 
and they just we got so little of it that it didn't do anything to to really you know lift up the episode beyond mm-hmm. that. So uh, I think that the massive, you know, like the, the, these big battles that just didn't do it for me, like really bring down the score. Yeah. Yeah, I think the battle, uh, you know, some of the Geralt action, some of the um, spells was cool, so it brought it up a little bit more for me, but not high enough to save the episode because of the way it was written. We're like, well, but that's stupid. Why, why didn't you do <laughs> We're this? friends now. Why didn't you just show one extra scene of the devastation so that people could feel it more? Because oh. the visuals are good, and some of them are putting in good performances. So I gave it a 6 out of 10. I thought it was slightly more <laughs> bad. I'm grading on a scale within the fucking, you know, season. And I think this was about the second best episode in terms of shit happening, right? The best is obviously episode one. Yeah. Then I don't think I ever I give anything better than that. So episode two is like, all right. Uh, and I guess so this would probably be the second best for me. All right, moving on to episode seven, uh, which is called Out of the Fire Into the Frying Pan. The desert scene. Wow, you're so creative. Uh, the desert scene. Bored. Bored. Yeah. I gave it a chance, too. And I get it. This We've seen these kinds of uh, you know uh, dramatic situations before. And uh, it just was too long, too yes. plotting, too predictable, too confusing. Not confusing, but just, you know, I don't know. I didn't like it. The only thing I liked about it was... I mean, and then uh, just annoyed that the characters are getting split apart all the time and I have to fucking care and I don't care and just hurry it up. Uh, the monster in the desert with the cool, the water, like, it's cool. It's like, oh, cool, that's a cool creature design. It does something to mimic water, to attract things, and I'm all thinking about the ecosystem but of the yeah, desert rather that, than series. That thing makes me more mad than anything because I was like, Why? look, you had so much more potential. You mm-hmm. could have done oh, something yeah, yeah, better. Yeah, it could have been cool. But now you're just like, yeah, I'm with you. You did nothing. Yeah, you did. I mean, you get. You tease me. That's all you're doing. You just yeah. fucking tease me. You it would have been me great off. to see Geralt and everybody in the desert doing that kind of mo- more monster hunting stuff, or her stuff. just doing some more monster stuff. I sure. would. I would be opposed to it because I. Like, she's already... fucked up at that point, Joe. She ain't got no water, so she barely escapes by doing a little cool little flip thing. Um, you so you how does do she you get? Out, how does she get out of the desert, Joe? Who, I, I mean, some she... people find her. And... No. Before then, she's she's got no food. She's got no water. She's walking around she's aimlessly. Her friend. No, she's <laughs> saved by a unicorn in the desert. Well, yeah, but yes, this is what I was trying to get to. I'll just say it next time instead of trying. Well, like, this is the only well, like you get like those two things. I thought you were talking about the lady that that's stalking her. There's stalking. a spirit. I'm gonna stalking get there, her. but first we got to get to the unicorn saving her. Actually, I, got, I do think the lady shows, the lady shows up. Yeah, first. she's the like background. behind her yeah, the yeah, entire you're time. Right, yeah, you're, you're yeah. Right. And the unicorn's an asshole because the unicorn like leads. <laughs> it leads her for like half of a day and then just fucking takes off and then for like two days and then comes back and is like, all right, fine, I'll lead yeah, you to water now. What are you yeah. doing? The unicorn's a piece of shit. And look, but one the, of the lore actor things, no. giant balls. And Did you, you see the giant you nuts on that unicorn? if it's real or not. Yeah, I knew you were going to point that out. <laughs> Why a, are you looking at the horse ball? That's, it's Witcher. Have you not played the Witcher? The, 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 the giant <laughs> fucking balls on horses. Very accurately uh, recreated yeah, yeah, here. And Alex respects that. He just want to make sure. Is that a male or a female horse? It was a male horse. Mm-hmm. So the horse helps her out, whether it's a real thing or in her head. I mean, does she ever get to touch the horse? She the horse does. Like, she stop, does. Stop touching me. Horse doesn't want to be. She touched. puts a napkin on on its wound when she goes. Albert. I know, but I think everything in the desert is fake. No, she's eating those she, eggs and then smashing fire, the she lizard. She firepowers it. Not everything in the desert's fake. Yeah. Obviously, the fucking lizard, and she's eating the eggs, and, and <laughs> then like, she's like, hits that idea. thing across the land. I feel sorry for the lizard, man. They live wasn't doing nothing. And to it you. took a family out. Yeah, she's eating the she's eggs. Eating the egg. Damn, I'm like, serious, fucking bitch. She's a fucking asshole. It's like I get it. You have to survive, but I don't really like you all that much. So I'd rather the lizard survive. You smacking it against the rock just because eat. you're frustrated with your own fucking nowhere. mind games. She's gonna eat the unicorn next she's scene. She's gonna eat the unicorn next game. <laughs> Picking her hey, teeth. That's, that's a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of meat. <laughs> a lot of meat. So that's what she should have done. But no, she's picking on some small lizard because it's smaller than her. Sears sucks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, beautiful locations I wrote down. Beautiful music. But what what are you going to do? Um, Again, like you said, it, it was let just it down. dragged on. Dragged on. Really? Uh, and then, uh, just as Joe was uh, shutting his eyes, bah! <laughs> it comes up a CGI uh, <laughs> crab monster. Didn't you mention crabs at some point? Yes. Yeah. 
As a joke, though, yeah. before that thing popped up, Alex was like, he's going to fight a crab or something like that. And guess what? A crab monster pops up out of the An fucking... absolutely <laughs> god-awful shitty fight that it is a completely unearned victory. Nope. She reaches up on this giant monster and with her bare hands and is able she, to, like, rip off a chunk of it. She hulks out and then, a piece of armor? What, what is this? Yeah, she's using her elder blood powers, but oh, it's just like nothing about it is earned. You. If she had done something where she uses her powers or she gets to outsmart it, use anything that Geralt had taught her, you know, a witcher thing, because that's yeah. what the name of the, the show yeah, is. Yeah, but she, yeah, instead, she shows some kind of effect where well, she's going, and you just hear a, a sound something. Yeah, because yeah. even then, it just starts burrowing in there. It's like, all right, go ahead and just shoot, like, fucking hit my head. Yeah, yeah. he almost at gives least put up. A fight, but didn't do but shit. But before he gives up to, he's like presenting his head. Go ahead and hit me with yeah. my own fucking Fuck piece of armor. Before he does that, he does this, Joe. He goes, well, go ahead. Hey, fuck your old unicorn right there. He goes, ha! He, at any time, he could have used the mandibles to hit her, but he's like, hey, fuck that do uh, the dog. Fuck that horse over there in particular. Yeah. And now kill me. And so That's then the it. horses are like, oh, right. no. And, you know. And like, they just tease with like, some cool shit. That You're supposed to feel sorry cool. and everything. And Sir Dawn was like, Siri is the kindest, most gentle character. So she goes over to the horse and... And she lightly places a, a, a tissue <laughs> on, on top of the wall. <laughs> it's it's like, that's a pretty deep gash. Yeah. You can need As more we than were that. watching, Alex puts a napkin <laughs> on Joe's. I'm not joking. Yeah, he did. put a it's napkin like, on Joe's there you go. knees. That's like, you're all better now. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, at the point, it's obviously not helping. Uh, so then a <laughs> desert <laughs> lady shows up and talks to her. And I don't care anymore. Moving on. Mm. And then you got the, you know, convincing her to use fire, use like fire magic and save the unicorn. Fuck all your friends. Just uh, leave everybody behind. Just go for power. It's she's being tempted by power. Mm. Get it. And uh, she does use the power to help the unicorn. The unicorn gets scared because she used fire magic and saved its life. And the unicorn runs off. That's the last we see of the unicorn. Unicorns hate Siri. Because Siri saved its life no, with the wrong evil. magic type. If you'd use the other magic with the mages, just go, oh, and then, then it, it would have been like, all right, cool. And and hung out with her and let her ride it and stuff, which is every girl's dream. Yep. Nope. But no. Time. You use fire magic, uh, I hate you. Yeah. So she, the but then she's wake, she wakes up, and then these people drag her off. Just but some we get the visions assholes. of her. Like, it's like, well, you, you see Siri, or not Siri, fucking uh, Yennefer tied up like fucking Hellraiser. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, these, these, are, these are visually cool shots and yeah. interesting, right? If I was caring and, and everything else around it was done a lot better, then it, it's an interesting shot. Yeah. It's a lot more interesting than, you know, a Lifetime movie where it's like reverse shot, shot, reverse shot. So uh, that, that part, I remember, yeah, it's kind of mm -hmm. cool, but... Um, like, no, they're my friends. They're my Explosion. friends. Explosion. Yeah. And then the bard shows up and uh, to to the forest, and um, I do like this scene because the bard is able to kind of use his bard powers, uh, just start singing a song they know. So they, play. And they put their fucking <laughs> weapons down, and yeah. that's what it makes me think less of the dryads though. It's just like, oh, oh, they're stupid. All you have to do is sing to them. He's got a beautiful voice. Yeah. He does, He's got that and they're one crying. Yeah. 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 And so they let him in, and uh, yeah. And then yeah. it's said that Siri was on her way to the Emperor. The mm -hmm. Emperor is receiving her. There's a decree that everything is cool now. And then the episode smashes to black, and we're like, wait, what? So those guys took her to the Emperor. Um, three out of ten. Same. Three Ugh. out of ten. Yep. Uh, in media, I think there's value in stuff being good. I think there's even some value in things being bad because you can at least talk about it. Yeah. When things are boring, I think it's one of the biggest sins that you can have because I felt like it was a giant waste of my time. So I'm going to say that this is a two. I was fucking bored. This isn't bad writing. There was just – there was nothing for me here to enjoy. I, I just – how, how – were you on your phone? I was looking at my phone every now and then. I was looking at what you guys were doing. I'm looking around like I just was so fucking bored with it. get comfy in my bed. And it's just like <laughs> as you get older and you're crotchety like me, you start to look at your free time and you're like, I just wasted an hour on that. There's so many things I could have been doing. So, no, fuck you. Whoever's in charge of that episode, you're fired. <laughs> All right, episode eight now. All the witches, uh, the witches discuss. I'm sorry, not witches. All the mages discuss what to, what happened in the castle. They she discovers um, uh, to say, uh, yeah, to say, uh, discovers that her fake boyfriend who tricked her was doing all this monstrous stuff and. 
It further brings her uh, emotional state down, and they resolve that they were just enemies previously, but they resolve. Oh, that was in the last episode. I forgot to mention there's two mage ladies that were like, fuck y'all, we're going to attack y'all, and they have these new, they're part of the betrayers, and then they take their things. It's like, yeah, you can punish us after this. Yeah. But they don't. Like, well, they really they do they want to fight for their home or whatever. Okay, so now they band <laughs> together and they <laughs> make sure it never, it's like, what did you think would happen? Shut the fuck up! Uh, and they band together to make sure this stuff never happens before because they see I don't know all the little girls in one big monster pile yeah. and they're like, let's make sure this never happens again. And they have to undo the spell. They're not curing them; they're dead. They're just going to bury the them in them. individual. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, so the Brotherhood is in shambles now because uh, everybody fought stupidly. <laughs> it took, what, 50 elves to take down the Academy of Magic on the continent? Nah, fuck you. And a betrayal, to be fair. Okay. Uh, there should have been more mages and, and shit. Now, the refuge. Um, the, so the, when we go to the refuge uh, with the dryads, here we introduce a new character, probably in the books, obviously, but I, I'm, I haven't read. Uh, you know that far into the books, we're getting into territory now that I haven't. I'm not fully up on. I never really was. I'm not an expert on the book and lore, but let me just speak from a um, a new viewer perspective. This new character that they introduce at this refuge, just tagging along with Geralt, just like um, you, uh, the real world you sucks, been dead and you'd have been you dead. Be I'm dead. cool, and it's like just shut up. I'm just annoyed. I'm just fucking annoyed now. And it might have been just I'm in a bad mood. You put me in a bad mood previously. And Dan <laughs> Dandelion even asked her, to, hey, can you watch over Geralt? You know, we need somebody like you to watch, in, in, you know, Geralt. And then she's all like talking shit to Geralt. And Geralt's like, just go away. Just See, I wouldn't mind I don't that, have time like for somebody that's hiding from the world. And she's like, oh, shit. But yeah. that's their – it's a reoccurring thing whenever they introduce new characters. They just don't present them right you know, or in the – Entertaining yeah, manner, present them in a likable way. Yeah, I, so I, it's, it's like, their it fault. Out. They've been doing it so throughout the whole season. Do you know her name? I no, don't no. know her name. Do you know her name? <laughs> we don't, know. Nobody cares. So moving on, uh, to to say it kills herself because um, a flower is just a flower. Obviously, she's emotionally distraught. This happens in the book, and then she cuts her r wrists. And I was gonna laugh because, like, what? I thought, like, I thought she was gonna kill herself. Obviously, <laughs> she rock. picks up the rock. <laughs> I was like, is she gonna hit herself with the rock? She cuts away. She hits a then, flower, and the and rock is coming up. I was like, is she gonna hit herself? Jennifer's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear the rock fall. That's, Damn, what girl, that's, that's what I thought anyway. at first. That's what I thought at first. It's like, what is she doing with the rock? <laughs> mm. I don't know what she's doing with the rock. She's levitating. That's, that would be a very difficult way for use the rock <laughs> to try to cut her wrist. I don't know. Anyways, um, and then I just lose interest. I stop taking notes here. I, uh, the last note I took is like the melodrama. It, it's just not working <laughs> for me here. Like everything is so emotionally resonant in this and that is just scene after scene of melodrama and it might work for someone and they're emotionally invested in all of these scenes but it is not working for me and the more melodramatic it is the more people put emotions to it the more it just is cringy to, and, and, and it, it, it loses emotion for yeah me. like how am i supposed to be emo like feel any sort of emotion like we need to bury these three girls it's like uh the chances are you are going to turn these three girls into eels, eels. and then suck just chaos the out of them up. you like you're using them as like the class hamster and then as a battery later on you don't give a shit it's like all right they're fine now yeah, and like you gotta do this. We gotta women, do it. It's for the girls, things. It's like right right you were gonna Shut suck the, the power out of them, you stupid bitch. <laughs> so there are literally too many characters I don't care about. Uh, I wrote here, and um, mm -hmm. okay, so then we go over to what kingdom? Um, uh, Tamaria? No, that's false. Milfgard. Uh, no, no. Uh, Radave. Uh, uh, Philippa has the king killed. All right, <laughs> it's so so. She's, I've got a plan, and this guy's getting a picture of him and painting. He's just an idiot, and he dies. Mm -hmm. um, so then long live King Radovid, uh, Radovad, and um, this is not the, the stern Radovad that we know from the games. This is a completely different, Rad the show just 
wanted to do a, their own thing. So uh, how that's going to tie into our bard now. He's friends with the king, <coughs> and uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, we'll figure it out. So then Amir is shown. He's got, at least they fixed everybody's armor. Nobody shows up in ball sack armor during this uh, procession. And uh, Siri, the second they show Siri with her head, it, it, you know it's, it's not Siri. It's the fake Siri that I was like, wait, did, did they cast the same actress? Or uh, it's they cast a girl that looks just like Siri. That's the point, because she's fake Siri. So yeah. it's revealed that he has fake Siri. Now, whether they know it's fake Siri and they're just kind of doing this uh, because they're still the... Reward, the bounty's still, the bounty's still out. out. Yeah. I think maybe he's just doing this publicly... I don't fucking know. It, we'll figure it out. It's to no, get all the no, they, they get the we won't. no. Let's not. Maybe we. Maybe <laughs> you we really should. can't. They tell you why it's yeah. because all the barons. They're, yeah. they're like, look, if Siri's on his side, then the barons have play. to take of uh, the Sintra yeah. people. He and does it so. for political yeah. uh, and 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 other reasons. Yeah. Um, and then so that's when we cut to real Siri, and she's in the bar, and the, they're trying to decide. She meets another thief who I'm supposed to care about, probably a part of the rats. Yes. And then yes. He, and then the real rat show up they break the place up they do this badass <laughs> camera angles and it's like like i you know the choreograph choreography might be all right and and uh, each one is a individual badass and it's just i don't rats. care I, I really don't care they want you to care because they're gonna do the spin-off like, no. they're trying they, they, way yes, too fucking they hard they tried way too yeah. hard because there is a spin-off series coming with these characters i'm not watching it did anybody bl watch blood blood thing blood Michelle rain yo her spinoff I didn't watch it mm -mm. I just was not gonna do it yeah. I just saw the trailer and I'm not gonna watch these it. the rats and what show up on their Vespas yeah I, as soon as I saw them I was like oh the they rats. remind they're, they're the rats. Vespa they're kids on so tattoo the like Vespas are gonna be right outside mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's it, it, it's like when you know, we're watching the Expendables movies. We're having a good time. And then the next Expendables movie comes out. It's like, here's the new kids. And we're all going to focus on the younger, these new Expendables, instead of what you came for. It's, Shut up. Go away. Hey, no. Netflix. It's in the lore, but I don't care. Netflix learned their lesson because they, they tried to do it with Stranger Things. And the fan reaction was so poor, they canceled that whole series. Yeah. So now <laughs> even actual author created you know characters and the way it's supposed to happen in Siri does join these even this stuff is now annoying me cuz Netflix has gone annoyed me. Uh, so then finally yeah. Geralt goes out with one final badass battle there. The world is changing now. Nilfgaard is invading and it's having it's capturing more and more territory and cities. Don't forget we invalidated almost everything that happened previously in the episode and the last half of the last episode. Uh Yen just simply heals Geralt. So oh, him, yes. him going to the middle of the forest mm -hmm. was complete Pointless. nonsense. Pointless. All he had to do was say exactly where he fucking was and, and then Yen Tris go, "Hey, hey, come here." And then he's fine. Or just uh, Tris could tell Yen, "Hey, your, your boyfriend is, yeah. is hurt. And then Yen would have done what she does here, which is a fucking mind. She heals him from great distance because he feels her close to him. She, just, uh, yeah. Uh, so, what do you call that? Uh, out of body experience or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It was, or maybe she portaled in. I don't fucking remember. But so it just <laughs> made. It, I she portaled in. This whole thing of like, I'm gonna feed you the grouse. I'm not gonna feed you the grouse. I'm gonna get you the water. I'm gonna pour acid into your into your wounds. It's I'm gonna do. Soup. I'm gonna do all this. It just. It was completely and totally pointless. Well, that's what Danny Lyon was saying. It's like, is this doing anything? Are these guys qualified? No, no. they weren't. They yeah. were. They were just putting gobbledygook in, 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 in his wounds. The dirt and stuff. It's like, <laughs> this is magic dirt. It's like, that, that's a stop slow kid. That. Will you stop letting the slow kid do the medic stuff? <laughs> stop that. And uh, no, anyway, so then Geralt uh, makes a concoction because they forgot that they were doing a Witcher show. Somebody said something. It was probably Henry Cavill. It's like, all right, well, can I make a potion now? Mm -hmm. Now that you've got to fuck around, can I do one thing? And they're like, all right, fine. And so he mashes a centipede and he puts it inside, he drinks a potion. And then he's, you know, practicing. And he says, good enough, because he's not quite healed. The stu the fucking annoying lady fires an arrow right past his head, you almost kills dead. him. Yeah, you, you did kill me. <laughs> you did kill Garrett. What if it is Garrett? Like, oh, shit. You were supposed to I move was, your head. Like, <laughs> or if they shoot him in the face, and that's how they do the face thing. <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> it probably, one. It no, or it just pulls his whole face off. He's like, oh, no. So then Bar- Geralt goes through a checkpoint, and he gives up the thing from season one with the, la- the girl the that got yeah, killed that he had feelings for or whatever. And it's just showing that he's moving on. He's single. Like, past doesn't matter. It's Siri. Nothing else kind of thing. But the guy had to continue to be an asshole to, you know, young kids and taking their dolls and bun- pushing them and saying, fuck you. And Geralt's like, all right, why don't you just let him through? And you're going to mess around with that lady, that, grand- and that grandma. Yeah, I'm going to take your gra- I'm gonna <laughs> take your, your old ass <laughs> yeah. wife around. And she's like, all right. I mean, yeah. yeah. That's what like, said. You don't yeah. got to pay me. And I'm going to take your wife. And then you look at his wife. Is that his grandma? His wife? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It does like I take it. No. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, so then Gerald comes back, has a badass scene, takes yeah. on a whole fucking uh, detachment division of guys. Uh, Danny Lyon doesn't help. Helps a little bit with the thing. And then uh, he would have had it. But, of course, the fucking show has to take that moment away. You're Geralt telling me that a show. witcher with heightened senses wouldn't have jumped on a man who was already down and lowered his guard? Did with, you not see what happened dudes? before where the guy showed oh, up oh, <laughs> around the, deck. the corner? Oh, Deekstra. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. We didn't talk about that. <laughs> so that was, in, that was, was in the first three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I heard your knees from a mile away, <laughs> yeah. We didn't, never got to talk about it. So he, I thought they were going to explain it in some way or Geralt just let no, him do it, it or something. But no, he did he did sneak and up. And he's on really him. far away. He's like, I'm going <laughs> to stab you. And it's like, yeah. no. All right. Uh, so then the girl shows up to save Geralt. And then she's like, oh, I'll just, I so wish somebody cared about me as much as the way you care about Siri. And then we cut one more time to the rats uh, where they go, What should we do with this girl? You know, I guess well, she's a good fighter. Maybe she can join us. And, hey, girl, what's your name? And she says, Call me fucker. And I was like, Yeah. That's that's a good way to end. And then it smashes to black, and it was how they ended it. Yeah. Call me fucker. So, <laughs> you little fucker. And honestly, unfortunately, it does make me realize how much I dislike. I don't dislike Siri, but I should care more about Siri, and I don't. Again, it's not your fault. It's the writing, man. Yeah. They had ample time to... I'm just, and I don't even actually know. I think some of it actually, you know, it might be controversial. Maybe it just wiped my mind with all the Netflix stuff. I think it's some weakness in the actual uh, source material, too. Siri is just like this so overpowerful. Everything is Siri, Siri mm-hmm. this, Siri that. When is Siri this, Siri? Shut up! I don't, there are way more interesting things. I don't like it when you have like this fucking Jesus plot where there's this one ultra powerful character that is like Captain Marvel or something. It's like, it's not interesting. It's like, oh, she's got to learn how to deal with these powers. I don't give a fuck. You know, I, I much care more about the on the ground stuff that's happening in the Witcher universe, the monster hunting, the living in this thing, the the political intrigue, uh, if done well, like yeah, I was gonna say, Game of uh, Thrones. Unfortunately, nope. this is not Game of Thrones, and these are people pretending at that level. And so three out of ten for this one. What do you guys think? Three across the board. Of this episode too, yeah, across the board for me. Yeah, this one was slightly better than the last one, but it, it just I'm just not interested with any of the characters, and I I don't like any of them. And if you're a strong writer, you can look at a source material. <laughs> we talk about it all the time, but it I don't know if you've ever read it, but there's a uh, oh, child just... orgy in a sewer, uh, and uh, the you when you look you at it, you you, you you look at it and you're like maybe we don't put that in our thing, yeah. and we can change some things for the better. And it's just like they had opportunities to improve, and I think all they did was make everything worse. So, uh, yeah, so not not good, and I'm not excited for season four. So at this point, they're trying to get you excited. Oh, the fucking now Geralt is not care. He's like not staying out of things. Geralt has chosen a side. Amir, tell Amir I'm coming for him. For someone not who, me. So not so me. Someone, someone else. Someone else. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a whole like new me. person, some might say. <laughs> How are they going to address it? <laughs> Carol, you look different. They're going to have him grow a beard. Yeah. They actually been show, posting pictures of Liam Hemsworth with a beard. He looks a lot like Witcher 3 uh, video game girl. And so I think that they're just going to hide yeah. his face mainly Under behind a beard. beard. Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe it'll look good in a beard. Yeah, but at the same time, like his uh, voice, uh, his mannerisms, is just going to be it'll, different. It'll be weird. Yeah. It'll say, be weird. what happened to you? He's like, I, I, I got it on head. <laughs> 
I got it on Ed. <laughs> what? You what? I got it on Ed. <laughs> okay. He fell down in a rock. <laughs> he fell down in a rock. They could just magic and just be like, it's a disguise. Magic. Yeah. It's, but, yeah. Hey, all right. Uh, we'll see. We'll see in three years. <laughs> We don't have to. <laughs> we don't have to. If it no. Uh, all right. Well, anyways, guys, yeah. tell us what you think in the comments down below. Did you did you even watch it, or are you just watching us watch it? Yeah, and you don't need bikes. to watch it, you honestly. Don't Please don't. Yeah. Don't hate watch it either. All right, guys, that's good. it for us. Thank you all so much, and we will see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.